Doc, what are you doing here? Is everything okay? Quackity Cooks, Marty, you must come back with me, in IMAX 3D, where available. Say what, but we just got back from 1955, and besides, Jennifer is coming over soon. Bring her along, this concerns her too, we must go back, to, the future. You mean, forward, right, because we can't go back to the future, oh wait, I get it, you have already been there, my bad, please continue. Wackity schmackity do, Monty, something terrible has happened, in the year, 2015, and it involves your family. 2015, that's heavy, Doc, but what happens to us, to me and Jennifer, what, do we become, reality TV show stars, or something? No, no, you and Jennifer turn out fine, it's your kids, Marty, something's got to be done about your kids. Come on, we must hurry, what, are you constipated or something, let's hit up, the stash of plutonium I hid under your bed, and get going, in HD. Well, I just don't understand, wait a second. You fucking quack, so you're the one who hid plutonium under my bed, you sick son of a bitch. No time to chat, Bati, we must get Jennifer, then head to the future, to stop your son. Martin Fly Jr., from getting into trouble, that darn rascal. What is it now? Are you still upset about the trash thing? I told you, I need garbage to fuel, Mr. Fusion, I'm not working with the FBI, now, let's get going. That's not it, Doc, but you do realize that by simply telling me and Jennifer about what happens, we could just stop it from happening, since you told us. Great. Scott. It's Marty, but thank you. Plus, if me and Jennifer leave the present time, then there won't be a future us, because we have left 1985, to travel through time, past everything. But, what if... Damn you Hollywood, you have corrupted the Doc, forcing him to make this unnecessary sequel, with more plot holes, than New York City. Well, it seems you are right, Marty, I guess I didn't think of every fucking possibility, Congratulations. Thanks, it feels good to outsmart you, you plutonium junkie. But now, we have a new mission, for we must go back, and stop this sketch from being made, and prevent the sequel from going into production. Now, to the DeLorean. Come on, Doc, this is getting ridiculous. If we go back in time, again, I may end up with a cousin or something. It's getting too weird. It is, illogical. Strap in, Monty, because where we're going, we don't need logic.